Hello the internet, welcome back to the Waifus, I'm Sefi and today's topic is gonna be who should you be pulling for Ain or on the rerun for Anis Sparkling Summer. Both of them are really, really, really good. So let's go over the pros, the cons, some tests. Uh, we've been running even more tests after the initial pool sessions. I also uh, opened Wallet Coon and I ended up getting Ain. So before we start, like, subscribe, help me grow the channel. We are close to 5,000. I think we should be able to reach it this week. I'm actually uh, honestly surprised. I didn't uh, think by any means that I could actually uh, make a living out of playing Kumer games. But here we are. So almost 5,000 subs. Let's get directly started with the video. Also important in terms of investment, so you understand a little bit more the uh, the context of this test, and then we'll talk about who's uh, more worth pulling. Scarlet, it's MLB Bond level 40, fully overload level 5, 10, 10, 10, resilience Q, right? And she has an SR doll phase zero. All right, pretty good, pretty good. When we talk about Summer Anis, she has. Uh, a doll as well, SR, phase 5. She has bond level 30, MLB, gear level 5, skills 10, 10, 10, and then she's using a resilient cube in there as well. And then lastly, when it comes to Ain, she is only one copy, only two pieces overload. I don't have rocks, all right? I want to overload her, but I can't. <laughs> And she's 7, 10, 10. And when it comes to the cube, resilience, and I got her a doll, an SR phase 10. I got pretty lucky with super successes on the blue doll, and I could transform it. So that is the context on how much investment the girls have. This was Union Rage, three minutes on boss, uh, on neutral element as well. So let's go into this, and then we'll talk about my opinion on who's better to ticket. So first test, Litter, Crown, Naga, Scarlet, and Ain. Scarlet taking the victory, 453. 407 on Ain. Once again, different investment, so it's normal that Ain is going to be doing less damage. This is still amazing for the level of investment she has, and the gear not even being level 5 is level 0, and this is not even overloaded, right? And also, no extra copies, meaning no extra stats either. Uh, so, pretty good. Then we ran at uh, the same team, but Dorothy uh, with Summer Anis. Summer Anis did 442, and Ain did 455, which is crazy. Um, of course, Summer Anis is also buffing the damage and boosting Ain since she's an Electro Enabler, uh, but that is what it is, right? And then lastly, we did the same, but with the Scarlet and Doro in there. So instead of 455, we have a 405, less damage for Anis, and more damage for Scarlet, 462. Pretty, still pretty, pretty close. Um, once again, Scarlet is 140k CP, my Ain is 114. There is a big difference on CP. So as you can see, and it's really competing with these two girls. She is catching up, and if you fully invest into her, she will surpass them. But there is a couple caveats in here. So if you were to go on a full yeah, reload yeah, team, Sameranis still takes the lead, right? Still takes that extra damage, which is what you are going to be using her on a fast reload team with another Electro unit, be it Ain, be it Scarlet, be it whoever it is. Now, the second thing to take into consideration is that Ain is not a limited character. When her banner ends, you will be able to put her on the wish list. And she doesn't have, uh, she's, not, she's not a pilgrim, she's not a, an abnormal character. You will be able to get her no problems when the banner ends over time. That's a big difference with Anis. Well, you know, if you don't get her right now, you'll have to wait another year, and it's not even confirmed if we will be getting another set of reruns next year or not, which is already a pain in the ass. So those two factors alone, I will say people, pull first for Anis, and if you get lucky with her, then go for Ain. I would personally, for most people, skip Summer Helm. Because right now, there is, uh, for, again, for most people, there is almost no reason to be going for her, unless you're a new player who do not has um, cooldown reduction units, or you don't have enough cooldown reduction units. But even then, I would go first Summer Anis, then I would go Ain, and then if you got lucky, right, with both of them and have some extra resources, I would go for Summer Helm. Now, it is worth ticketing these girls. Should you be using 200 tickets for them? For Summer Anis? Yes. For Ain? No. <laughs> and again, the reason is simple as before. She's not a limited character. 200 golden tickets for a character that is not limited, that you'll be able to get put in your wishlist. If we get a selector on a second anniversary, whatever we're getting, you can get her. In contrast to Summer Anis, which will have to wait at least a year. 
So for those three reasons alone, I will say, you know, it's not really worth ticketing her. I will try to get her if you can get lucky, but do not sweat it. Now, also a couple important things with building A that I failed to mention in the previous video, and this is pretty interesting, but um, her skill 2 is doing really good damage, which is with her, her drones, basically. The good thing about her drones, the near feathers, is that you don't need to worry about charge speed and charge damage. Now, of course, it's welcome. It's more damage for her, but her drones do not care about charge speed. Or about charge damage by by uh, by any means, right? So you're getting around a, um, a third to half of the damage just with the drones, more or less, from what we've been seeing and calculating. And the rest is from Ain herself. Meaning, if you invest on her drones, you're good. And she's really, really, really simple to build. You want elemental damage, you want attack. You don't want anything else. If you get charge damage, charge speed is nice. If you get max ammo, it's nice. If you get critical damage or critical rate, it's also good as filler lines, but it's not something necessary. Also, it's 40 degrees it's like 3 a.m bro 3 a.m is still like 35 degrees i'm sweaty i don't know i think i'm gonna go take out the dog for another walk before i go to bed and then just try not to die while i, I am sweating all right all that said all that japan aside that's gonna be it for this video as usual love you all bosses thank you to my patrons for making this content possible i will leave you with a run on union range so you can see the damage for yourself that this girl is doing and i'm gonna put it on a team with summer anis and aim in here so you can just skip to the end if you prefer to see only the result and the damage we're gonna go into of course neutral element fire three minute boss and it's gonna be it love you all bosses good luck with your pool dinner and see you in the next one さい今の行けてた。この報告を脅かす者たち、私と一緒に行きましょう。リロード。今の行けてた。この報告を脅かす者たち、私と一緒に行きましょう。待ってください、先生。もっと リロード。今の行けてた。この報告を脅かす者たち、皆審判の
今のイケてた<笑>今日の野外授業はここまで<笑>役立たずは楽園から追放するのにブランとノワールのショータイムです天地万物を切るとはこういうことです